We're the Hayhurst brothers, Daniel, uh -huh. Seth, and, and I'm Jake. Right. And we design and build mid-century inspired custom homes right here in Bridgeport, Texas. That's yeah. Right. What do we use to do that though? Chief architect is how we yep. do it. So come follow us and we'll show you how we do it. This is our chief architect. What happened? So we'll give you all a quick rundown of how things go around here. Mm -hmm. This is my desk. This is Daniel's desk. And over there is Seth's desk. Business papers. Yeah, he's the businessman. <laughs> Without him, this thing doesn't work. Jake, 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 I want to okay, about so architect. here's how it goes. I'll sketch something out on paper, basic floor plan, basic drawing of what the house is supposed to look like, and then the hard work begins because thanks to Chief Architect, it has brought our business to the next level, That's and right. Dan is the man. So this is a really cool drawing that Jake does, uh, but then I bring it to life on the computer. It's cool, software. but... Not as cool as that. Yeah, because then I can take the clients through in 3D, they can see their house, and more importantly, Jake can build what we see here and make sure it works in the field. Correct. So, I'll take it from here to there, and then we'll take it into the field, which we've got a few going right now that are in construction and a few finished. So, why don't you come with us and we'll, we'll take a look at it. You guys need me? No. All right, here's a completed house that we did, what, about a year ago we completed this? Yep, yep, with and, the help of Chief Architect. Right, big time help. Um, as the builder, this is kind of where it comes in for me and it's a, uh, been extremely helpful. Chief Architect breaks down every piece of that house. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of pieces in that house and it'll tell you exactly what you need yep. from two by fours to uh, roof rafters, two by sixes. How many squares of, of roofing? The material list that it produces is incredible. Exactly, which has made my job as the builder in the field far easier mm -hmm. and far more streamlined and efficient. So, thank you, Chief Architect. Yeah, now, follow us. We're gonna show you a couple more of the builds that, we've, uh, that we're currently working on that had the help of Chief Architect. Thank you. Yeah. You going that way? I'm going this way. Okay. Well, sun's finally out today. We're out here at our lake house on Lake Bridgeport. We are one in of the, our lake house. One of our lake houses. We are in the dried in stage. We've got the zip board up, the windows in. The electrical roof. is going in now. Underlayment, electrical. And what we love about this house and what was uh, key with Chief Architect was being able to visualize how the house is gonna mm -hmm. sit on this point and be able to capture as much of the lake as we can. So we'll take you inside and kind of show you some of the so, it's really cool. As you come in the front door like you just did, you immediately see the lake. This will be a wall of windows. Unfortunately, the big 12-foot wide door is covered with plywood right now, but imagine cold. that's all glass. It's cold outside. We're trying to keep that wind out. Yeah. There's Seth. Come Seth? over here, Seth. Um, come, come see us. Seth, you don't have to help the camera guy. So, yes, this space. Um, was very awesome to be able to showcase this on 3D to our right. client as we were trying to explain how this was gonna look. You can use words, but the visual was key, and that really helped sell this property and this house to the client. Especially that. putting a backdrop of, the, of a lake on uh, Chief Architect, and they can walk in and actually see the water. It's awesome. Well, Chief Architectors, this is this build, well, up to this point. Yep. yep. And uh, we've got so many builds going on. In fact, we've got one right across the lake here. Right over there. Right that over I'm there. pointing to. Well, and why don't we go show them that one? It's a lot further along. Let's hop we, over there. Can we get over there on a boat? Well, we can swim. I'll race you. And it's too cold for that. The, where's the dock? I think, it's over I think here. we got to drive. Let's go to the truck. Here we are. We made it. Oh, no, sorry. We made it across the lake. We and swam. No, we didn't swim. We drove. Oh, it's too cold for that, and it's too far. Mm. I mean, that's a lot. That's a long way. But to look swim. how we're right on top of the lake here, just that, hovering over the top. It is spectacular. This lot was very small. She wanted a single-story house, so we had to build a massive retaining wall. We actually put the slab all the way up over the top of the retaining wall. 
You alright? I'm good. Okay. Go for it. So anyways, she originally wanted a craftsman home here. Truth. And thanks to Chief Architect, we designed this mid-century inspired home and she loved it because she was able to see it in 3D. You you designed it. Well, we comboed it. So, that's this house. Now, we want to show you one more that's fully finished that we can walk through with you. I feel Check like it I out. Something in my teeth. You, you do. do. Dang it. Why didn't y'all tell me? I tried. I did. Hey, fella. How are you? One. Here we are at our last stop on the house tour. Um, this one is fully finished. The client is living here now. This place uh, is very unique. Um, what I love about it is we were able to cantilever all the porch coverings. There's no posts out here, um, which well, got... there's some right over here, Jake. Post. Well, that's the screen porch. So there's no this porch. Has, this place has a, has, a, has a screen porch. You have to have posts on the screen True. porch to put the I'm screen porch. I'm just clear capture all this, this beautiful view that they've got here. But there's some very unique things inside, too. Come on in. We'll show you around. Come on in. We're going in the back door. Are you coming? Now, we really want to showcase you the inside of this house because we love this house. We had a we huge part of the interior design of this place. The client really gave us... Kate Blanchett on this to be able to pretty much do whatever we wanted to do. Kate Blanchett. Carte blanche. Carte blanche. James Carte blanche. Uh, and that means they pretty much let us do what we wanted. And so that's why you see these copper countertops here. Yeah, we, right. we actually um, did these copper countertops ourselves. We installed them. Uh, my wife handmade the backsplashes. Huh? We've got walnut cabinets that we um, actually, the handle is a part of the door. Or drawer front. So what he's trying to say is that when we get given the opportunity, we pour our heart and soul into the inside of the house. That's right. That's right. That's and that right. goes as to, to this area as well. Follow me in here. Okay. Follow you? Me. Okay, here we go. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you, this awesome fireplace. We are big fans of fireplaces, especially since all of the really cool mid-century homes back in the day had the coolest fireplaces. They definitely did. And Jake tried to accomplish that with this guy. And uh, Seth, come on over here so Jake can explain the difficulties this is a, of this. Uh, this is inspired by an architect, Richard Neutra, but what we really wanted was this to be open on two sides. Due to the houses being so tight now with spray foam, energy efficient windows, you really can't do that. We were worried it was going to not draw, so we gave the hint of that here with this small cantilever. But what we love about it is it's got a nice big firebox. It's a real wood burning fire, and then kind of this freeform uh, hearthstone, if you will. So we're able to cut the wood around it. Everyone, everything's really clean, and then we have a freeform here. Next, we'll show you something different. We will be different. We'll be... And now something different for you. The hallways aren't very different, Daniel. No, I'm just saying different because you said different. I said different? Anyways, we don't usually like to use hallways, but if you have to, take a page out of the Ames house in California and put a bunch of glass on one side so it doesn't seem so small. Natural light. And then, this, right off of the kitchen, leads to a beautiful, screen usable screen porch, which we love. We try to implement this into as many houses as we can, especially, especially in North Texas. Hey, guys, are you all still blabbing right. about the design and this and that? Yeah, yeah. I've been at this all day. Listen, here's what you need to know. When you have two really smart guys with really great brains that do really great designs, and you couple them with Chief Architect, a master tool, Man. you're going to get some amazing stuff that's going to set your company way above the competition. Like it did I'm out of here, dude. All right, hey, All right. there you have it. See ya. Thanks, Seth, for, for ruining it. That was not a very nice exit.